Hey everyone, I'm Ashley. For those of you who don't know me in person or have never been to my channel before, um, today is March 29th, but I'm going to be posting this on April 2nd. April 2nd. April 2nd, 2015. No. 2013? Holy nuts! It was 2014, so you could see how clearly prepared I was for this video. I just know it as 7th grade. So, I'm gonna explain the story real quick, like the backstory to this, because yes, it's important, but no, that's kind of not what the story is about. Um, 7th grade, um, end of 6th grade, beginning of 7th grade, um, I got really depressed really quickly, and um, no one... None of us really knew what was going on, like my family. I was like hiding it from my friends. I was trying to hide it from my family too, but that didn't work out. We decided I should start going to therapy. I started going to therapy in seventh grade, November of seventh grade. I was doing better. Um, I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety. Um, skip forward a few months. Mid-March, I kinda started to plan um, to take my own life and I honestly do not remember why but I chose April 2nd. I picked a random date. April 2nd really had no meaning to it when I decided that this was going to be the day I was going to do anything. I told one of my closest friends, um, I don't want to like name names so I'm not going to name it but I told her um, about my plan, which I'm not really sure why I did that. Um, looking back, I feel like that was kind of like my cry for help. Like I was kind of giving life like one last chance and like me um, talking to her, I feel like part of me in that moment was like, please like tell someone like I don't want to do this, but yet like I do. Like it, it was, I was honestly, I was in such a confused part of my life. I just had so much going on and like I was so overwhelmed like I can't even explain it and my friend um, told the middle school guidance counselor and I go down to guidance um, talk for a little bit and then they tell me they were calling my mom my heart like dropped to the bottom of my stomach when they told me they were calling my mom because I did not want my mom to know that I was planning to do this. Two, I kind of had a like, oh crap, I'm busted kind of feeling. I'll admit, I was like upset that I wasn't able to do it. My mom got me, I um, and we went to the hospital. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't really remember all of it. I think I was just, I was under observation. It was kind of a way of just keeping me safe in a way, I think, um, which worked out and then I talked to someone at night kind of saying like did I feel safe going home like did I feel okay or did I feel like I needed to stay there and I was honest and I said I felt fine to go home like I realized a lot that day I feel like one thing that I realized was like how many people care about me one like I always knew my parents loved me obviously my parents love me but like I feel like that day it kind of like hit me um a lot and I feel like just with my friends I think I realized like how much how many of my friends cared about me so I was fine um the next day I went I saw a different psychiatrist who diagnosed me with um, bipolar disorder and anxiety which explained a lot <laughs> if I'm being honest like looking back like it was bipolar disorder from the beginning there was just a time where like we didn't see it as that so that's kind of my story in that sense. Here we are, senior year, and we're doing good. I'm very open about my story. M many, many people know about my past, and it's nothing I'm ashamed of. Um, I would not be who I am today without that, and I don't want to hide that from anyone. I feel like part of me is saying this because I was 13 at the time, and, and I felt no reason to live. I'm currently 18. I'm graduating high school in a few months, going to college a few months after that. And I feel like my reasoning for making this video is I want people to know that like, and it's the most cliche thing to ever say, but if you really feel like that your life is bad enough that you feel as though you 
would do anything to escape from it um you're wrong <laughs> and so many people told me that when I was in seventh grade and even when I was in eighth grade because I struggled a lot in eighth grade and up until now people I have heard that so much and every single time if I'm being honest it goes in one ear and out the other because I that is not what I want to hear and so I don't want to sit here and give you another lecture on how life gets better and blah 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 because that's not my point my point is to tell you that I thought I had no reason for living and here I am five years later and I can look back at these five years and there are so many people I'm gonna play I'm gonna play videos and show pictures of some of my people right now there are so many people I've met and things that I've done and places I've been that like I wouldn't have been able to meet, go to, encounter, or whatever if I did take my life in 2014. One of my closest friends, I'm not gonna say her name, but we became friends freshman year. Like she's one person that in particular I think about a lot because now I look back on my life and I think like how did I ever live a time without having her in my life when in reality there was a point where like I could have ended my own life and never have met her and I just think that's so crazy to think about and like there are so many things that like I that I have even yet to experience I'm only 18 there are certain things that I've yet to experience that I wouldn't have experienced I wouldn't have experienced or I hope I hope to experience later on in life like having kids being married like all that stuff like there are so many things that I haven't experienced yet even now five years later I just want you to know that the magnitude of what you're facing right now and what you're challenged with is nothing compared to how strong you actually are I honestly cannot say it enough but it 100% is not worth it I know I've been there I've wanted to I've tried I can't express how much life you would miss if you took your life. Whether you're just watching this because you know me and you wanted to watch this or if you are you just came across this, I just want you to know that you are amazing, you are worth it, and you can get through whatever you are going through right now. And there is no doubt in my mind that you can. Just please know that you're worth it and you deserve love and you deserve life and you deserve happiness and just hold on a little bit longer and i promise you you will get there and you will feel that joy and you will feel that happiness that you are longing for because it is there and it's going to come to you and you're going to get it thank you so much for watching this i really hope you got something out of it um if you really did I'm not just saying this for like promo, but please share this um, with a friend or anyone who you think needs to hear it because this is an important message. I did not make this to bring attention to myself. I made this to bring attention to the subject. Suicide is a very touchy to topic in which we don't often talk about as a society, but I feel like it is something that we need to talk about and it is something that a lot of people are dealing with. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you got a lot from this. Thanks. Bye. Mwah.